Welcome back, friends. I think it's time to do a bit of line maintenance uh, because we have a lot of old trains, we have a lot of old uh, road vehicles, probably a lot of old ships. So I think uh, today we are going to do some line maintenance. However, first, I didn't realize I, I can actually rename these cities. So. Uh, well, maybe I did and forgot, but uh, instead of having it be Amsterdam and Rotterdam, we will call it Amsterdam and Rotterdam as it correctly should be called. And down here in Istanbul, uh, we will rename that as well to Istanbul because that is also more correct. And I think that's the ones that were wrong so that is all good so let's um let's get looking at the lines okay sorry about that i had a call uh, so we renamed the towns let's take a look at our lines first of all how are they doing are they all making money no they're not and we knew that of course so the Iberian cargo distribution is horrible. Milano goods to Athens is horrible. Milano goods to Belgrade is horrible. Barcelona, Barcelona tools to uh, Bordeaux is terrible. Well, there are a lot of terrible ones. I'm sure it'll all be fine in the long run. What about the good ones? Belgrade coal to Milan, steel, almost 7 million iron ore to Milan almost 6 million crude oil to plastic production almost well 5.2 million so yeah we have some lines that make very good money and we certainly have more lines that make a lot of, make money than we have lines losing it and I think the lines that are losing it they will eventually start making it as well Okay, um, let's start up here because I noticed something horrendous, and that is this. Look at this. We have old steam road vehicles going for buses here. So we are going to replace those with the Mercedes Benzes. There we go, that's much better. Yeah. I'm sure they will be happy <laughs> that that has been upgraded because that was horrible. And look at the line of cars behind them because they were so slow. Uh, let's actually let time pass slowly here. I think everyone going from Copenhagen to Hamburg and vice versa will be very happy with uh, with those upgrades. Let's also um, upgrade the roads a bit so that we don't have these stupid uh, dirt roads on the line. That will be much better. That will be much better. And Copenhagen has actually grown quite a bit. Look at that. When we started, it was basically over here. And now it's, well, most of the island. There's only 274 people. And that's even though it's getting actually both uh, its main requested items at a decent rate. And it has quite a lot of destinations. So yeah, all right, so uh, that's that. Uh, let's look at some train lines because we have a lot of passengers waiting around. Uh, not, not there, that was a bad example. So 160 going to London, uh, 583 going to Gardino, and I did rename that because there's no D in there. And down here in uh, Gardino, the other, uh, station there 
We have quite a lot of people go wanting to go both ways. And if we take a look at this one, we have quite a lot of people on the UK EU Express. So I think we need to upgrade a bit here. So let's find, actually, can't we just uh, do this and manage vehicles. So they have, uh, let's say edit. Right now they have a capacity of 60. Let's see what we can do about that. We're going to have to use uh, the steam trains for now. Or diesel. Diesel. I think we'll switch to diesel trains. So, uh, so you know what? Let's instead of this, let's uh, replace with a diesel train and we'll get I guess we'll get these we'll put four on so that they have a capacity of 80 instead of the 60 I think they have now or do we add another one then it goes down to mediocre but we don't have that much elevation here so I suppose that's fine so let's go up to a capacity of a hundred and replace those trains and then I think we'll clone one as well oh there's no depot on that line okay well, let's uh, let's get a depot in there. I'll use the standard one because I, I can't really figure out the other ones, to be quite honest. Uh, so let's get that in there. Uh, High-speed tracks with containers. And we'll get that in there. Signals. Uh, one way no, auto signal no, like that, and then we go back down here. EU Express, uh, manage vehicles, and then we can clone one of them. Okay. So so far, so good. Let's keep looking here at uh, Paris. Why can't I click uh, Gardenal? There it is. So Brussels must say Express. Up here in Brussels, we have a few people. We didn't have a lot of people down there. In Lyon, we have not that many people. And in Marseille, we have not that many people. So I definitely don't think we need to upgrade this how many trains do we have on here we might actually be able to take a train off i think so let's do that that's a more reasonable amount of trains on there i think okay then we have that's those two done then we have here the Barcelona Prague Express we definitely need to change this up we're going to replace these vehicles with something something electric uh, I think it'll be you yeah it'll be you and some passenger carriages let's go with a capacity of 100 I think they had uh, they had quite a bit less capacity here I think 
maybe even go up to 120. Let's go up to 120 and replace those. No electric path. Damn it. Why is there not electricity here? Okay, let's pause. Uh -huh. Now there's electricity on that. Where are we missing electricity? Uh, not there, there. Do we not have electricity here? Uh, seems like we do. We have catenaries, though it doesn't look like we have catenaries. seem like we can fix that problem they do have the third rails though so maybe it's one of these over here Frankfurt definitely has catenaries uh, we also have catenaries here So, why is there no power? It really frustrates me when it does this. You have catenaries. Catenary A, catenary B. Do I have only catenaries on A over here? Is that the problem? There's no B. Man. Let's do that. It doesn't actually update. Okay. So this is not going to be electrified. Uh, oh. It's only this train. Oh, look at that. There are no catenaries here. There are no catenaries here. All right. Uh, tracks. High speed with catenaries. Upgrade. Oh, come on. There is no bridge pillar. something real quick still a dang bridge pillar collision over here it's fine I think it's down here that's the problem no here's fine let's try and do a little bit at a time bridge pillar collision there is no bridge pillar Okay, that is frustrating. No, no, no. Damn it. Damn it. All right, let's put these streets back in, shall we? Try and put tracks in. Uh, 
Okay. Come forward a little bit. And then do that. Got my bridge pillar kill collisions. Okay, there's no bridge pillar collision until there. Well, until here. And now we have a bridge pillar collision. But there are no pillars. Oh, there are. Okay. Um, that works. That does not. So why does a bridge pillar come in here? It shouldn't. There are no bridge pillars. There's one there now. Now it's gone. There should not be a bridge pillar. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. This is not what I wanted to spend time on today. Alright, let's try doing it the other way around. That works. Okay. And that works. And then I just need to find out. Well, we don't really need a crossing, do we? Okay. So then... We need to upgrade some more tracks. that removed the warning all right so now we're going again okay uh, but can we now um, to place you and we'll get you and you, you. All right. So that's done. Okay. That took a while. All right, but that's uh, that's a lot better. And we now have this with a much better uh, capacity, a better rate. We have UKU with a better rate. And we have Lyon and Brussels, Lyon to Brussels with a reduced rate because it really didn't need it. Well, look at that. Now we have tons of passengers waiting there. really anywhere else though okay so that's that let's take a look at this so we have 122 passengers we have 297 wanting to go to berlin we have a lot 
and we have quite a lot a lot wanting to go to Prague a lot wanting to go to Vienna not that many there there's just been a train here though I do think we need to upgrade this probably just with another train but let's replace these because the uh, these are very old uh, it's this one that we had uh, so let's go uh, let's first check if all of this is electrified I think it is maybe not up north over here it's electrified and here it's electrified and here it's electrified is Berlin no so we would have to update that which is something that we want to do anyway um, See, all the tracks are high speed with catenaries. It's just the stations that are not, I guess. Yeah. All right. Pause for a second. Passengers there. It's this one that we want to work with right now. Wow, the game is laggy right now. Okay. Almost done. Tracks. Uh, high speed tracks with catenaries. Why can't I build there? I have to reconnect. That, that's annoying. And the same down here. As they won't go in. Alright. Let's build that little bit. Let's bulldoze that a little bit. Uh, configure you again. Got the high speed ones with the turns. And then we can stick these tracks in again. Okay, so that's that fixed. We probably we need to fix this station as well. Uh, so we want catenaries, yes. High speed with catenaries. I think that should do it. Yes, it did. Beautiful. And then there's Amsterdam and Rotterdam, which most likely doesn't have to turn into that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll fix that. Oh, 
doesn't take too long to do, thankfully. Auto save. I wonder if it's gonna register that I put all those in while we wait. There's a track there. It did not register. Okay. So we should be good to go. I hope. That one's fine. Down here in Vienna. It's not high speed, but it is with catenaries. So, uh, manage vehicles, uh, replace them uh, with this one. I know that we're replacing them with the same kind of frame everywhere, but we don't really have a choice, I think. So, five cars, replace, and I think we'll clone one, and go. No warnings. Oh, we do have a warning. Oh, uh, pause. Yeah, that is... Why can't you connect all stations? Uh, let's see, Hamburg to Berlin. No, Berlin to... It's a little bit... Hamburg, Berlin, Prague. Hey. So in here, we have catenaries. In here, we have catenaries. We have catenaries all the way here. So why? What's your problem? We have catenaries all the way here. We have catenaries here. So, what the frick? Okay, you're coming up there. You have catenaries. So, let's see Prague here. Uh, you're going the right way. 10 is the right way. Let's see you. Aha. Uh, so you need to be on four and you need to be on three. Right? There are no warnings. Okay, so that was the problem. Okay, and now uh, we can grab trains. They are fine. And I think this will be all good. All right, so that's that train line done. So that means that we have done UK EU, Barcelona to Prague, uh, Amsterdam to Vienna, 
Well, actually, Amsterdam to Athens. And I think that's a good start. Uh, let's take a quick look down here in Barcelona. We have 80 waiting for the Iberian Express. 457 people wanting to go to Barcelona there. Only 12, but there has just been a train, I think. And over here, 19. So I don't think we can put another train in here. What are all you waiting for? Do we not have... Do we not have signals there? We do not have signals in the tunnel. Uh, wait, one way place. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, it's fine. No warnings. And we don't have any signals here as well. Oh, now we have a warning. Damn it. What's the warning? In five. You. You're saying that you don't have an electric pad. I call bullshit on that, to be honest. So train five, what route are you on? Now we know you're in here. We're on the Amsterdam Athens Express. Okay. See, let's just follow it along here. In Vienna, there definitely should be electricity. That's one of the newer stations. In here? Might try and upgrade that. Oh, there's a bit there. definitely have is there a bit in here no this all looks good it's a bit there that's electrified see anything that isn't electric. I really don't. Let's do that. This all should be electrified. Really, really should. Yeah. Not that, but that doesn't matter. It's this that matters. And it's all electric. All right, you know what, guys? I am going to try and figure this out in between episodes because, well. weird it's weird it's confusing and I really don't know what the problem is 
What if we try and reverse you? Oh, there. There are no warnings. Okay, you're going in. Weird. All right, so I guess we figure it out. <laughs> Somehow. I thought it should work. Well, I wonder, was that little bit that might have done it. Okay. But anyway, we are out of time, so we will continue on in the next one. Uh, I think we've done quite a bit of line maintenance. Uh, basically, all our passenger trains, I think, have been done except for here which is a brand new line that we did last time so i think we'll give this a little bit of time to kind of come into its own and then we'll figure out if we need more or less capacity or what we need yeah and i think maybe i'm not entirely sure but maybe we will try and get this leipzig machinery up and running next time i'm thinking of making a big cargo hub in here in uh, in between these five towns kind of running East West and possibly down south so that we can get some uh, some cargo trains going that way and we'll simply come into maybe a cargo hub down here and connect up some of the towns that way via trucks But we'll figure it out in the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.